Okay, getting ready to leave here. Grab my favorite oak. Okay. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home the same way we came back. Except when we get down to that stash, I might want to stop for a while and check it out. But anyway, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Here we go. Kind of looks innocuous right here. It's like this does not look like the way back. You can definitely tell I've been up and down here quite a bit. As you can see where my steps have been on some of this grass. It's like flattened down. It's kind of funny how we seem to gravitate to the same area every time. Excuse me. the camera down a little bit. There, it's probably better. <clears throat> now, I actually cannot go slower than this. Unless if I was to really put in a lot of muscular effort. So, this is what I like to tell people who are out off the trail. Is to just work with gravity. Don't try to go fast. But also, don't purposefully try to slow yourself down. I climb up that way, but I like to go down this way. So, all right, see? Now, my pace is still fast because it's still downhill, but it's not too severe at that point. So, the point I'm trying to make is, uh, you just work with gravity. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you don't want to put in too much muscular effort, that's what I mean. So, reserve your energy, allow yourself to go fast, than walking, but if anything should happen wrongly, it would be a more like a controlled uh, situation. All right. Uh, maybe it's more like two and a half miles, come to think of it. Yeah. It's two and a half miles. From where we started. To down all the way. Oh. Trip. But see, even though I tripped, I recovered from it very easily because I'm just not trying to put in too much physical energy. That way when I trip, I have the physical energy. Just tighten up my torso and then get through without losing my balance. You see what I'm saying? Oh, 
it's really hot up here. <sighs> I'm already thirsty. I'm going downhill. <coughs> <clears throat> this is where I cut the branches so you can get through. Hey, there's that promontory oak over there. <clears throat> wow. We'll stop there and water up a little. Wow. It's really hot. I'm not joking, it's over 100 here. Has to be. It's really, really hot. And the wind is not really cooling it down that much. Because the wind is hot too. Excuse me. Here off to the left is something unexplainable. No water supply. So what'd they do? You know? What did they do? They didn't hike up here with water. And I can't see them trucking water down. Oh, well, maybe that's what Maybe they filled up over uh, near Baldwin Ranch Road and Williams Ranch Road. And then maybe trucked it over. I don't know. Doesn't make we're actually going uphill right now. Just so you know. Alright. Oh. That branch. It looks like he could cause blood. Yeah. Okay. See? This is really fast coming down. Especially since it's all wide open, pretty much. I just scared him away. The hawk, he's behind the tree. I'm waiting right here to see if he'll come around. back, not by climbing up over there, 
just going straight ahead through here because I think that it will line up with a nice place to cut across. I think. Find out. I just want to make a little bit of an easier transit down to the secret Petrero from up top because that other slope is pretty severe and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, this is a good one here. Looks like maybe some cows went down it too. I know where I am exactly right now. That's where I was, uh, ouch. Whacked me in the face, hang on. Oh, I said I was going to get water too, didn't I? I'll take a little sip right now. see several ways to get down from here. One way is I can go right back over there, go down there. But we're going to go down even further because I think I'll slip around to a place where I won't have to walk sideways so much. Oh! We're here on the trail. This is the one that I've been up. I recognize it. Yeah, see? We totally missed most of that area. In fact, we're almost down where the cache is. Oh. Okay, see? I don't try very hard. I just work with the gravity. Even if it's sliding me down, I just go with it. easy it is to tell on the camera but I could totally tell I'm on my trail I see my feet look at that now you can see part of the ocean and why is it because there is an offshore see what I was telling you earlier offshore wind I was pushing it away finally but it takes around noon for it to get kicked up Excuse me. Up the uh, 
It's right up there. I'll get it next time. And right now, with it being as hot as it is, I don't think I'm going to go exploring down there. But I was thinking I would shut the camera off here, go exploring, and then turn the camera back on from here down. But uh, it's pretty warm. So we're going to keep going down. And then if we get down to the bottom, and we got all this extra time, then it's only like uh, a very short two mile or mile and a half hike. Very short one. You only go, you only go up about a thousand feet. It's not that far. Okay. All right, so we're going to go down here, and then we're going to take the secret potrero to the edge, and then we're going to come back, and then we're going to go straight down. I'm like doing a slalom ski here. See? Just work with the gravity. Fight it. Work with it. There we go. hot. Whew. It's hot right here. I mean, it's really, really hot. Oh. Oh. Get on the trail. Controllable. Yeah. All right. Thinking of coming up here with a hoe and actually carving a trail into some of this. Uh, now. The shortcut back would be, look at this, there's an old fire ring. <sighs> would be down here. Ah. At least I think. I'll find out how well my uh, guys work oh I don't know oh yeah I see it I was looking past it it's actually right here right no 
This is not it. That's it over there. Oh wow. We gotta get over there. Which way am I gonna do it? I think I can get over there going this way. Whoa. Don't trip. I know where I'm at now. It's that blackberry patch. We were on the trail actually. It's warm down here too. Although, without being in the sun, when I'm moving down the trail here, I get a little breeze going, you know, and it uh, feels good on, the, on my shirt. So, it is cooling me. Whoa, I wasn't looking. Okay, looky here. Remember that? That means we go down here. All right. Okay, if you want to go to the higher exit, you go this way. If you want to go to the lower exit, the way we came in, this way. Whew. Oh, I 
think I'm too high. I am. No, I'm not. We're at the right place. Yeah, I was just looking off to the left, thinking that it was higher up. So this is the right place right here. We walk straight right down to it. You can't see the gymnastics I'm doing getting through here. that far just right up there just right up there Here we are. There's the... I can. Okay. Well. You see how... You see the angle? to go in there is this angle. Follow it behind me. And what do we find? Another cairn. They're aimed in a straight line. Ding, ding, ding. That's the direction, okay? And that's almost a straight line up to the secret Petrero. There's only a little bit of a zigzagging you gotta do to scale the most steepest part. The most steepest part. <laughs> well, give my brain a, a break. I'm gonna shut up now and I'll turn the, turn the camera off and uh, thank you for watching.